I see what home chaps and chap, it's game chap and birdie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, Vareos, and I dare say we have here some rather exciting news, and indeed an announcement from Mr. Sakurai concerning an upcoming DLC character for Super Smash Brothers on Wii U and 3DS. We most certainly do, old chap, yes, indeed. Now, no doubt many of you have been anticipating new DLC characters for Super Smash Brothers Wii U. Yes, indeed. And one of these hotly anticipated characters is none other than Mewtwo. Mewtwo, my most word. Certainly. Indeed, Mewtwo, of course being that it was a very hotly anticipated character, and indeed in a recent interview it seems Mr. Sakurai himself has been talking Mewtwo and release times. He most certainly has, and to quote him, he has said that Mewtwo is pretty much done. Pretty much done, really? Yes. Okay, so we are dealing here, of course, Fadeos, with a very, uh, shall we say, hyped new character, who of course first appeared in Super Smash Bros. Melee on the Nintendo GameCube. Now, he is in his own series a very powerful Pokemon character, and of course, as Mr. Sakurai said just now, he is in fact almost done. He's in the final stages uh, of being in the works, as it were, yes. and he's asked us to please wait until the announcement of the DLC soon. Exactly. Now, what that means is he's basically said, well, it's there, we've done it, and we're going to announce it soon. So you can expect Mewtwo coming along very, very soon. I hope so, old chap, of course. And we have to ask ourselves, so what exactly is Mewtwo? What move is he going to have? And of course, the all-important question, where is he going to appear on the tier list? Well, to help give us an idea of this, of course, yes. we can take a look at his standings in Super Smash Bros. Melee, oh. where currently he's ranked at number 21 out of, I believe, 26 fighters on that particular game. So, of course, uh, quite low down on the melee tier list. Apparently, he's considered a weak character there because he's fairly slow and floaty and also quite light, but apparently also, in recent years, he's seen a bit of a boost to his tier standing because of his ability to trick opponents using a teleport move and also some various other technical options. So, perhaps people have been playing with him more and saying, well, he's not too bad, perhaps he's not as bad as we thought, etc., and so forth. Uh, most certainly, yes, indeed. And, of course, the thing with um, this character is it is one of the Pokemon characters. Now, we have one already in there that I'm thinking of, which is Charizard. Uh, Charizard we have, but also we have another character very similar to Mewtwo, who, of course, is Lucario. So, yes. Uh, they both share that, that uh, Shadow Ball type of move that they really both do with the B move, you'll see. So, speaking of these special moves, what exactly are Mewtwo's special moves? Well, in Super Smash Bros. Melee, they were the following. He had his standard special move, which was the Shadow Ball. Now, by pressing the B button, he would get a ball of purple glowing energy in his hands just like that. He'd charge it up to full strength, and then, of course, uh, when you pressed left or right, he would store that for later use. When you unleash that uh, Shadow Ball at yes. full strength, it causes 25% damage, high knockback, and also it might even explode on contact with surfaces. So that's a powerful move, you'll know. Most certainly, and this is one of the attributes he had in melee. That's right, but of course. Will he bring it over to this planet? This this is the question, will these special moves see the transition to Super Smash Bros. on Wii U and 3DS? So his side special move was Confusion, a strange yes. one there, a very unique one I have to say, whereby he would sort of go, hmm, like that you'll do, and thereby send the opponent into a spinning whirl of confusion temporarily. Yes. They sort of float round in midair and just uh, go, oh, this sort of thing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> one better word. <laughs> Yes. Uh, um, and then, of course, in the process, they would then be helpless temporarily. However, unfortunately, that move was never too practical, you'll see, because also Mewtwo himself was also unable to act whilst they were in that phase, so he couldn't follow up quickly with another attack, for example. Uh, most certainly, no, no. Now, an interesting one he had was up special move, which involved teleport. Teleport, that's yes. right. Now, of course, teleport is nothing unique by itself, because many other characters do have a teleport, like uh, Zelda and Pikachu and uh, Palutena, etc. and so forth. However, Mewtwo's teleport could be used, apparently, in Super Smash Bros. Melee to mind-game the opponent by, uh, shall we say, zapping out of their way. In fact, his teleport always was quite a good recovery move as well, so that was quite a fairly strong option he had, although, unfortunately, he didn't cause any damage but it did have the upper side of going straight through enemy attacks. So there's that, I suppose. Well, no, certainly, I think the teleport move in Smash Bros. Wii U is underrated. I think it's got the you know the ability and it's got the, the attributes to really cause other players a lot of problems. I think so. With, as you say, with the mind games. I I'll tell you a little secret, shall I, Fedeos? Um, I personally believe Palutena in Super Smash Bros. Wii U is completely underrated, partly Ooh. because of her teleport move. Okay? Don't, don't, her don't go there. Her warp, she can warp out of the way and really confuse people, but don't quote me on that one, I 
Well, that's another video. That's a secret, you well, see. We, we I shouldn't really that. be saying that. That's a secret. That's one of my own personal techniques, you'll say. I believe that... I'm not going there. Well, most certainly, I believe that Pay Tina is probably a top-tier character if used by the right people. Right. And now, partly because of her teleport move, she is, of course, I think, boosted somewhat from her present tier standing. And so perhaps it could also be that Mewtwo's teleport might give him an advantage over the unwary opponent. Now, exactly. last but not least, then, of his special moves, his down special move was Disable. Now, again, another strange move there, yeah. whereby he sort of glares at the opponent and gives, I don't know, I, I must say, I've forgotten the exact voice clip, but uh, he, stars go forth from his eyes, and the opponent is basically disabled. They go into a dizzy state, just like that, which is actually just like a shield break state, where they sort of uh, stand there clutching their head and going, oh, no, all this sort of thing. I suppose uh, what um, Jigglypuff can do at the moment. Um, is that right? It's not quite the same, because Jigglypuff sends them to sleep, but this is apparently the only move, I do believe, that can induce an instant shield break state, uh, of course, accepting things like shield break themselves. Yes. Of course, this is the only move that can put the opponent instantaneously into that state, oh. thereby inv inviting a charge smash follow-up, you'll say. Ah, oh, very interesting indeed. So that could be a very useful move So yes, for him to bring in, 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 you know, in his arsenal. I think so, but of course, if you ask me, a couple of his moves are going to need buffs, because confusion and disable weren't used very often in melee, because they were considered a bit rubbish, you'll say, because of course of the, uh, the precise nature, you had to be in exactly the right place and the right time to use them, and once you did use them, the effects weren't really all that useful, apart from perhaps disable, which could sometimes let you get in the free smash. But it was hard to land, you'll see, so really not all that special. However, if they were buffed this time in Super Smash Bros. on Wii U, we might see more use of these moves, perhaps. Well, just because we don't know what moves they'll actually bring in, of course. Um, I think looking at some of the other characters in Melee and looking at the Super Smash Brothers, um, did they bring them over into this new game or did they not? That might give us an idea whether he's going to have the same moves or not. Well, of course, they have indeed brought them over largely intact, but various moves like uh, Zelda's Transformation and uh, Cup of Others have not made the cut. So we'll have to see what the dev team make of Mewtwo from his old Melee state, because, of course, you have to remember he's about 14 years old in that game. That's a long time in the gaming world. Well, he most certainly is. Yes, I mean, I'm just looking at uh, the current tier list here for um, uh, Smash Bros. Wii U, and Charizard, uh, one of his sort of friends, if you like, is right down the bottom. Or well, Charizard, indeed, is, of course, down the bottom. That's right. So uh, will Mewtwo be joining his Pokemon pal down there, or will he be considered a high-tier character? It's, will it's he quite be a, a hard question to answer at this point. Well, exactly. Will he be a threat for the top tiers characters in Wii U Smash Bros.? Well, to be honest, if you look at it um, from a logical point of view, currently most of the top tier characters aren't really of the the slow variety. I mean, you've got Captain Falcon in there, you've got uh, Zero Suit Samus in there, you've Very got fast. Yoshi in there, and all these characters are fast. Yes. However, there is Lucario, I think, currently in the top ten, so you never know. It could be that if Mewtwo's moveset is somewhat similar to Lucario's, perhaps, and uh, if he's the same sort of style as Lucario, he may indeed get a top ten spot. But I, I, it just it strikes me, old chap, that the slower characters like Bowser and Gandalf aren't really considered high team material at this stage, and if Mewtwo continues to be so he might not be high tier either. Well, that's a very good point. Yes, I mean, just, I'm just looking at the, the tier list now. We've got Donkey Kong right at the bottom there. Ah, yes. Um, well, of course, yeah. DK at the bottom. Gandalf is also down there quite Game low. and Watch. But it's very important to remember with yes. tier lists, of course, that they are only based on what the current players think at the given time. In some ways, they're a bit like a popularity contest, well, if you are, ask yes. me. I mean, uh, you can win with Gandalf and other low tier characters, and indeed, I regularly do win with Gandalf, because it's oh. all about how you play. You have to outplay the opponent. It's not necessarily just pressing the buttons and hoping to win, and Perhaps tier lists, to a certain extent, do make us think, well, you know, we're just mashing buttons and the characters are doing things. Yes. It's not true. It's not true. There is the element of skill involved as well. And uh, a better player will always outsmart a, uh, a weaker player, providing, of course, that, uh, you know, they're both playing to the best of their ability. So we, we mustn't just con consider the tier list as the only no. rule of thumb. Oh, no, it's no, not no. by any means. Uh, no. But I do think whatever so, happens to you two in the tier list, he will be quite a dangerous contender with those dangerous moves like Confusion, Shadow Ball, and Disable. Almost certainly. And sh certainly. All the chaps and chapettes out there are going to be more. Well, they want to know what he's going to be like, what his moves are. Yes. We shall have to wait and see. Although they have said that he's coming out very soon, nearly done. That's right. But how do you get him? Well, of course, a very good question. How do you get Mewtwo? No doubt yes. the question on many of your minds out there fails. Now, apparently, if you own both the 3DS and Wii U versions of Super Smash Bros. 4, that yes. is the current Super Smash Bros. game, yes. you'll be offered the chance to download Mewtwo for free. That's right, no charge at all. Yeah. However, 
However, if yes. you want to buy Mewtwo and you only have one version of the game, that's right, I said buy. You're going to have to pay for him. He's oh. not free. Oh my word, so there we are. That's it's a not... bit cheeky. I, cheeky, I have to say. This is a DLC and paid DLC at that from Nintendo. It is not part of the game. You're going mm. to have to fork out extra cash to get Mewtwo if you'd like to play as him. Well, certainly, I mean, we knew this was coming. Yes. We knew it was coming. We knew it was going to happen. And now it's here. That's now, right. How the community is going to receive this, whether they receive it okay, or whether they get their feathers a little bit ruffled. Well, indeed. Will it cause a certain amount of feather ruffling? We'll have to wait and see, old chap. But certainly we can say Mewtwo is very nearly here. He's going to be a bit of a tough contender, and no doubt many people have been looking forward to him for a long time. But the question I'd like to ask you, fellows, yes. is if you are, uh, if you like the idea of Mewtwo, rather, what? are you prepared to pay money for Mewtwo when he comes out as DLC? And also, if the answer to that was yes, are you also prepared to pay money for potentially more DLC characters down the line? Well, that's a very good point. Yes, are you? Um, is the uh, you know the, the want to play the character greater than perhaps not wanting to pay extra, or don't you even care? Exactly. Perhaps you don't care. Perhaps you just like to get your hands on Mewtwo at any cost. Yeah. And maybe if they release more characters in the future from previous games, like perhaps the Ice Climbers or other characters, yes. you might also want to pay for those. So I, I mean, maybe Nintendo are getting away with the DLC thing here, old chap. Well, I think they are. I think they're skipping it over quietly. Yes, indeed. Of course, using the very sweet bait of Mewtwo to uh, reel us in. I think. Well, most certainly. I'm Really, really, it. Yes, he's really, really. Yes, that was good, wasn't it? I have I'm proud yes. of that one. Um, well, there you are, Vales. Mr. Mewtwo is indeed coming soon to your Super Smash Brothers. What do you think? Will you play as him? Will you buy him? Should he even be here? Let us know your thoughts, I say. Oh, yes. This hasn't even been Game Channel, but it bring you the latest Super Smash Brothers and Nintendo news. Join us once more the next exciting article, I say. It's me.